Yep, you guys can see how wet that is. Moment of truth. Holy crap! It's completely dry! Nicholas Flute on Twitch, also known as Just Another Flute Guy here in my uh, YouTube chat. He has helped me a lot over the years and he has come out with his own flute swap. Cam Voyage, I think I'm, I hope I'm saying it correctly. Isn't that cute? I think that's Nicholas's head <laughs> with a little camera. Look at that. And a little tissue paper too. Oh, oh my gosh, the sticker. I don't want to rip this. There we go. Oh, it's so soft. Let's take a look at the design. His head on here again. That is such a cute logo. And thank you for all the stickers. They're so cute. <laughs> Here you guys can see the entire design. So it is a rectangle shape, really nicely hemmed. I know it looks thick, but it's not, it's not actually thick. I do like the reinforced edges. By comparison, th this is the one that I normally use. It has some stretch. This one you can't. So I think there's a lot more flexibility and durability for this type of hemming. Nice and thin, drapes really well. Look at that. Our Suave uses cloud wick yarn, which I've never heard of before, by the way, uh, featuring quick moisture wicking, isolation, and deodorizing technology. Oh, deodorizing would be very good. Due to its unique lantern-like yarn structure and having a core thread, our Suave is extra absorbent and collects all the moisture in one pass through. And it stretches up to 0.5 centimeters. Yeah, exactly as I noted, it is stretchy. In just under four minutes, let's see, the fabric quickly wicks and evaporates most of the moisture gathered from the instrument. What? That's so cool. They even have a test report here. Drying rate was at 3.51 milliliters per hour. Hey, that's pretty cool. I wanna do this now, I, wa I wanna try. You put one corner in and then you kind of like drape it over and then it just kind of like already drapes around the cleaning rod by itself. That's so cool. <laughs> Boy, okay, okay, okay. I can feel it. This is an unfair test. Yep, you guys can see how wet that is. Ew, disgusting. So all the way through. Okay, you can see the moisture here. Yep. <laughs> it's completely dry. Oh, that's amazing. Time for this one. I'm like, you can see I'm just pushing it through. That is all I'm doing. Twisting will help push it through. Okay, perfect. Then I'll do that. Moment of truth. Holy crap. It's completely dry. Okay, that is incredible. That's actually incredible. It's surviving the unfair test. Clean off the tenon here. This side is already really moist, so we're going to change sides. Here we go. Yeah, so I can see that it's not reaching the corners, but this is typical. How about the rest of it? The rest of it is freaking dry. So it's only the top. This is to be expected. The size is best specially measured and tested. Oh, that's why it's such a perfect fit. So what I do is I start stashing, then you push it all the way up to the top grip the cloth with the rod, twist it. So I think you can eventually see the top twisting. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, it's starting to twist. So you guys can see it twisting up there. Very nearly. You see there's still a tiny bit. I'm gonna see if I can try to make this work though. Maybe let's try this then. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, this is working. Yeah, I can feel that it's getting to the top now. I think that's going to dry it. Yep. It did it. So it is capable of it. It's completely dry in there. I take my finger underneath it, three or four inches from one of the corners, and then let's let's test it again. I think I, I put it in there. Then you keep stuffing it in. Keep stuffing it in, and then you can use this. Yeah, I think that's exactly what I did. You can see it turning in there now. Yeah, and that'll get all the way up into the corner. I'm gonna leave it on camera here. And then we'll just, we'll just watch it dry. I 
I know that you guys can still see like a bit of a dark spot here, but it's it's quickly disappearing. If we take a look here, it is now actually completely dry. Just take a look at it. It's dry. I am planning on trying this out for a full week, including washing it and drying it over the weekend. I also want to see the performance of it after washing and drying it. I think I'm already like just really enjoying this. Oh, I, I love how just like immediately dry that is. It is a little bit tight in there, but I think that's actually one of the reasons why it does such a good job. Yep, it's completely dry. I actually have a narrower bore flute. So it fits in a Brandon. And then we're going to take it out. Yeah, it's completely dry. Look at that. Yep. Okay, that's incredible. I'm actually gonna use this to uh, clean the riser area. If you don't keep the riser clean, the buildup can actually cause kind of a weird muffled sound. I'm not asking for commissions or anything like that. Nicholas has just done a lot for me in my playing. And so this is my way of giving back. Clearly they have been spending their time researching, figuring out prototypes, testing stuff. They really put in the hard work. I can tell. I'm so happy with this. I've already used it uh, quite a few times after yesterday's stream because I was teaching in the afternoon. It gets it just dry. I really like this. Mm. <laughs> I want more colors. <laughs> Lately what I've been doing is drying my Cam Voyage swab like this. I'm gonna do a little sniff test. Yeah, still smells new. It doesn't smell like my slobber. <laughs> Cool. This is my main swab now. I don't use my other ones anymore. <laughs> Cause this is so fast. Like you're done. Can you guys see that? Yeah, it's completely dry. It's nice. Cause I don't have to keep like, you know, like keep looking at it. It's nice to not have to think about it. I'm getting used to it. Cause I've been doing this like every day. Dry, fully dry. You usually have to be like, Ooh. In the last couple of days as I've been using it, I haven't even been looking. It's not that these aren't good. This is silk and it is very absorbent, but it's it's not as absorbent as, especially in the body part. This does not get it dry in one go. This is more normal. Do you, do you guys see how like it's only a little bit damp here? This is more of like a normal test. Normally I would be using the flute flag just to kind of take out the most of the condensation as I'm playing. I've been using this nonstop. I'm actually getting faster and faster at using it with the head joint. It's great. I love it. I am very happy to report that this lovely Cam Dot Voyage cleaning cloth, I know it looks like I did nothing to it. This has been through both the wash and the dryer. I decided to care for this the way I normally would which is to put it in the same laundry bag as my microfiber polishing cloth and my glasses cloth, mostly so that I don't lose it in the wash, but also because it does kind of protect it a little bit more. I kept this in the laundry bag to dry it as well. While I recognize that not everyone's gonna do that, this is how I'm going to care for this forevermore. That's what I did and you can't even tell that it went through the wash. <laughs> I made the mistake of drying the silk swabs. They lost that like silky texture. It's stiffer, also lost some of its color, but this still soft as ever. It feels exactly the same. Did you pre-treat this? They're nice and virgin. Well, this one is not anymore. Now I also do wash my clothes on cold with vinegar, fragrance-free detergent. The vinegar helps deodorize my clothes and then in the dryer I dried it at sort of like medium high. That's just so you guys know what my controls are. I was really surprised. I was like wow there's actually no difference. <laughs> Drape it over, twist it, and it actually just kind of starts twisting itself too. Twist it through, in one shot and it's dry. Twist it way through and it's dry, completely dry. There's no, no watermarks. Yep, no. I like to do this the way someone else taught me when I was still streaming on Twitch. Stuff one corner of the cloth in first. We're gonna use the cleaning rod to stuff it all the way up in there. 
and then we will turn it. The turning will just make sure that the cloth gets into all of the nooks and crannies. Well, the one circular nook and cranny up on the top of the head joint. So just doing that, taking that out, and that is bone dry. Completely bone dry, as you guys can see. Wipe down the riser. I'm off. Thank you guys so much for joining. I love you all so much. Please stay happy, healthy, and safe. Take care of yourselves because there's no music without the musician. Laters, guys. Bye.